So, I did a thing. I have a furniture haul. And this piece right here, which I am not taking out of my car because I have to reload all this stuff up here. But I'm going to start with this one. So you can see it's red. But look at this detail here. Now, I don't like this red, okay? And here's here's what happened with this. So I know it's upside down, but this was originally $12.99 for this bottom piece. Which, by the way, there's a lot of damage on the top of this and this red is ugly. But... I was up at 6 o'clock today because the store that I got all this from, everything was 50% off. So that piece was $12.99. And then this piece right here was $7.99. So let's see. For, so I paid $10 for that. That's probably the most expensive piece. And I'm not really, really sure what I want to do with that. I think I might want to go natural. I don't know this piece right here I don't know how well that stuck on it looks like it might be lifting and there's some detail in that log cabin I need your opinions guys because I really would like to go back to the natural wood but I don't know if it's too damaged or what and I don't I don't really like these pulls on the drawer either but they look like they're the original piece I may have to stick with them so there's that piece. Now these two tables here, they were $9.99, so I got them for $5 a piece. You can see somebody's painted these, and they're, uh, you know, they've gotten, well, they're dirty, they're starting to chip, they probably didn't prep it, they're really dirty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet, and they, they need some tightening up, but I haven't decided yet then i got this i think this thing is so dear and it's really in not too bad a shape it needs some it needs some tightening up and something up here because it's starting to separate but you can see people have been writing on it and painting on it and i'm thinking about this one redoing it in primary colors that's what i'm thinking about this and it's got the chalkboard on this side then if you come around over here it's got the whiteboard and it's got a magnet here so that you can put paper on there and color or paint or whatever you do. Then this little shelf here, it's got this, I think this one, what was the price on that? That one was $12.99, so I got this for $6. Probably, it's this is, needs some work too, but it's not too bad. The backing's coming off, you can see that there. And this is just a cheap shelf. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to sell this, I'm going to keep this in my booth for display now these these were i think these were 10.99 originally too the price tags have been kind of messed up but they're pretty good pieces they're wood and i really like this effect on the front and i like i like these too i like these knobs i'm thinking with these i want to turn them I want to paint them black and then do something to bring out the detail there. <clears throat> That's what I'm thinking. I'm not even sure what kind of a bucket this is. It looks a little lopsided to me. I have to look at it a little closer. It might be something that somebody made. That one was $4.99. So $2.50. And I actually might just leave that the way it is. And then I got this little step. And you can see it's got some water damage on it. It was $4.99. There's some little chippy things here and I'm contemplating maybe just doing that in primary colors as well so that is my ugly furniture haul and I got all of this plus that for under $50 this morning but I had to get up bright and early so if you have any ideas or suggestions let me know what you think I know this is kind of a weird haul um, and if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.